turn on TV remote, turn on panel lights, turn off stand fan. Okay, turn the stand fan on. Turn off aircon. Even non-smart devices can be integrated into our home automation using the Smart IR controller. Stay tuned as I'll guide you through the process of Smart IR automation. Please support this channel by subscribing and sharing Super Tanks. This Smart TV is totally turned off because this has been programmed to turn on only during certain hours. The purpose is to save standby power. I have a video about saving standby power. Check the link above or in the description below. Using this TV set as a model, I will explain why we still need a smart IR controller for home automation. Please take note of the standby power or the pilot light of the TV set. It's still off. Turn on TV outlet. Okay, turning the TV outlet on. See? The smart plug or outlet is already on and look this portion here. The TV pilot light is already flashing. It means the TV set is already powered on. This is a smart TV so I can ask Google Assistant to turn this TV set on. Turn on TCL TV. Sorry, it looks like the TCL TV isn't available right now. It's not working because the TV set has yet to boot up from being turned off for a while. Remember, a smart TV should always be powered on or on a standby mode always so that it can be connected to the internet all the time. But for my TCL TV, as I told you earlier, I completely turn this off all the time when not in use to save standby power. Now with the use of this TV remote, I will boot up the TV. After booting up, the TV will proceed to its last state before turning this TV set off. Now let's put on the TV on standby mode by pressing quickly the power on button here. And we'll ask again Google Assistant to turn the TV set on again. Turn on TCL TV. Sure, turn on the TCL TV. See? I can again use the Google Assistant to turn on the TV because the TV set was placed on a standby mode. To use the Smart IR controller for this purpose, we should match the IR function of this remote control with the Smart IR controller. So again, we should place the TV set completely off. So you can see here the pilot light of the TV set is completely off meaning the TV set is being cut off from the power supply through the TV outlet or TV smart plug. Now we'll turn this TV set again. Turn on TV outlet. Alright, turning the TV outlet on. Now you can see the power on indicator here is flashing so it means the TV set is on. So we can now use the smart IR controller to turn this TV set on after it is being powered because we already turned the TV outlet uh, on again. So instead of saying uh, turn on TCL TV after the TV set is powered on we can now say, turn on TV remote. Got it. Turning on the TV remote. We 
can use the Smart IR controller along with other smart devices for our home automation. Check this video from my security camera where I turn on the TV set from completely turn off overnight by just greeting Google Assistant good morning. Hey Google, good morning. I programmed the sequence on the Google Home app, Go to Automations. Here you can see some household routines and personal routines. I put the sequence under personal routines, which is entitled uh, Good Morning. Opening Good Morning will reveal the routine. I start it with saying Good Morning to Google Assistant via my Nest Hub 2. Then the succeeding actions are turn on TV outlet, tell me about the weather, tell me today's reminders, and tell me about today's calendar. Now, while Google is saying those stuff, it already turned on the TV remote as the last action, but it's actually um, doing the action right after the TV outlet was turned on. This Smart IR controller is a generic Wi-Fi infrared transmitter using the Tuya platform. I bought this from a Chinese online store on Lazada and this is marketed with various brands. Mine is only 700 pesos. Other brands cost more. In the Philippines, it's been rebranded by a local company, Lasco, but their unit also cost more. Other store even jacked up the price of the Lasco brand to more than 2,000 pesos. If you want to avoid complications in your purchases, I would advise you to buy this product from Lasco. The company is offering three months warranty and I am impressed with their honesty. On their page for this product, they are disclosing everything including what this device cannot control and most importantly, their after sales service is good, their response rate is high and that is good for customers. Out of the box, this smart IR controller has a micro USB power cable, but it doesn't come with a power adapter. Quick run lang sa different parts of this uh, device. Um, Siyempre, the LCD screen here. The unit, the device itself, the size is uh, 65 millimeters. This is a square uh, form. The thickness is about 17 mm. The LCD is uh, about... Uh, four centimeters also in a square form then at the back um, this, this there is the kickstand you can open that then behind it is a reset button here and there's also a, a micro usb uh, port here for the uh, adapter then uh, behind these grills there's an led this should be powered by a 5 volt charger or adapter so you can use any cell phone charger for this um the recommended current rating is 1.5 okay so it's now displaying but it looks like uh, very dim uh, this is not a touch screen so we don't know how to increase the brightness of the screen the LCD has no backlight, so it's hard to uh, see it. Kung nakaganyan siya, tingnan nyo, halos hindi mo mabasa. I'm even using lights now. Okay. So, kung wala lights, ganun. Pag may lights, ganyan. Then, uh, angat ko na lang konti para maklaro. <laughs> so, ito yung screen niya. From left to right, makikita mo dyan yung monitor ng uh, temperature. Then the figure is 28.1 degrees centigrade. Then sa right side is yung 76% uh, ng uh, rating ng uh, humidity. Then below is the clock. Uh, malaki yung uh, marka ng clock. Then naklagay PM. Then 2023, January 1, uh, January 1, January, and January 10 to this date. 
Okay? The time here is set by the network. Okay? Kasi connected to 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 the Wi-Fi network, so network time yung 3.47 and it is synchronized with other clocks. Okay, so the LED blue light is blinking already. So that means it is searching. <laughs> we'll add this device to the Smart Life app. I have a Smart Life app. You need Tuya or Smart Life app to operate this device. Lasco has also its own app just in case you'll decide to buy this from Lasco. In my case, I paired the device with Smart Life since I already have two devices connected to it. My Tuya Bluetooth gateway and a Colos Smart Door Lock in my house. Pairing using Smart Life is smooth since the device will be detected automatically. You have to connect this to the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi channel. Matching the smart IR controller with your non-smart appliances is done in three ways. First, quick match, which requires you to turn on your appliance, then point the IR smart controller to the appliance and click the power button on the app. If the TV set, for example, turns off, then it's a match. Now off your own TV, when I push the power on button or, and power off, so that match. In case the quick match doesn't work, you can try manual match or mode. In manual match, you are going to teach the smart IR controller by matching at least three buttons. If the brand of your appliance is not on the list, you can choose DIY and customize the buttons. This can be done by matching the remote control of the appliance and the smart IR controller. I did this for my Black & Decker stand fan. You can navigate the page for the Smart IR controller on the app for more setting. Creating scene automation is done on the main page of the Smart Life app. Um, you have to go to the um, Smart Life app. Okay, you go to scene, then you add at the upper right corner. Then let's say for example, I'm going to automate my air conditioning unit. So I'll select when weather changes. For example, the temperature will uh, drop to um, 25 degrees centigrade. Then, um, don't forget to uh, uh, set your current city on your location on your phone. Otherwise, this will not work. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then, uh, because it's uh, specifically... Uh, refer to the temperature of the place okay according to the um, weather report okay <laughs> by the weather bureau that's why you can see here it says Pahak temperature Pahak refers to the barangay in Lapurapo city but I'm not in Pahak but I'm just near Pahak <laughs> this means the automation is not using the temperature readings on the smart IR controller both the temperature and humidity readings on the controller are for monitoring only and it cannot be used for automation although the temperature and humidity readings appear on the app while humidity reading shows on Google Home. If it's equals to 24, 25 degrees centigrade, then I'll add, uh, run the device. So if the temperature is below, uh, 20, it's about 25 degrees centigrade and your air conditioning unit is on, then you can turn that uh, AC to off, then you save. All the non-smart appliances that are already matched with the smart IR controller should appear on Google Home, provided you link your Tuya or Smart Life account with Google Home. From here, you can already use the non-smart devices to interact with smart devices like what I did for my TV remote control. Although the smart IR controller is convenient, but the signal and range of the device is very limited. I position the IR controller on my shelf, just 3 meters across my TV set and also about 3 meters from my panel light on the right. But I cannot control from here my stand fan because it is already beyond the sight of the IR controller. My uh, stand fan is on the dining uh, area and infrared controller cannot penetrate walls and cut the corner to reach my uh, stand fan. Infrared works on line of sight and within typically 8 to 10 meters. This one works only for about 6 meters. 
My air conditioning unit in one of my rooms at the second floor of the house is definitely beyond the range and sight of the controller. My Panasonic AC is not smart but it matches easily to the smart IR controller. Aside from line of sight and range limitations, this smart IR controller from Tuya also doesn't perform some functions on non-smart appliances and devices using the Google Assistant. The controls for the air conditioning unit are limited to power on and off and setting fan speed. Turn off aircon. However, on Google Nest Hub, there are more controls of the air conditioning unit. You can see here temperature, you can lower the temperature on and you can uh, also increase the uh, temperature. You can change the mode here, auto, heat, cool, dry and fan. And you can, there are also other controls here. Uh, aside from power, you can also swing the uh, uh, air conditioning unit's uh, uh, air vent. Turn on stand fan. The Google Assistant cannot turn on my stand fan because this fan only turns on when you press the speed button. Google Assistant, however, can turn off the fan. Turn off stand fan. Okay, turn the stand fan on. Also, it has hitches. There are times panel lights is not responding. Turn on panel lights. Sorry, it looks like those lights haven't been set up yet. This despite you can control the panel lights on Google Home. Let me emphasize that some functions of Matt's appliances can be well manually controlled on the Smart Life app, but our purpose here is automation. If you have questions on the Smart IR control automation, please comment below and I will reply to it as soon as I can. Follow this channel by subscribing and clicking that notification bell. If you want to help this channel, send me super thanks. Thank you so much. I'm Jun Dariman, High Tech Tabayin.